What is good, my beautiful, lovely Geminis? Trust your intuition, your spirit guides for bringing you to this last quarter moon love reading. If you are here, which you obviously are, trust that instinct. There's a reason you're here. There is a love message in here for you. So this is gonna cover June 10th through the 13th. June 10th is the last quarter moon in Pisces. Last quarter moons come in between a full moon and a new moon. So we're waning down, we're releasing, we're letting go of any energy that doesn't serve us. And then Pisces is all about the spiritual, ethereal, otherworldly. Pisces is a dreamer, so your dreams could be going off, you know, especially with the moon kind of doing its thing with Pisces. Pay particular attention to your dreams, Gemini. But let's see what's coming in love. Who's coming in love? This person could be coming through your dreams. That could also be something going on with this last quarter moon energy. Okay. Clear energy for Gemini. Oh my God. You know, I'm already hearing take these two out. So I'm just going to take them out. Let's see what you need to know for the last quarter moon. All right. Last quarter moon energy. What's coming up? Twin flames and should I stay? So you might be dealing with someone. I like that we have twin flames with your Gemini energy because it makes me think of your twin based energy. So I feel like you're dealing with a karmic. That's kind of a twin flame. Should I stay? And you might be wondering if it's time to give it up or if, you know, maybe you're hanging on by a thread and it's worth continuing. There's something that you're making a decision about. And I'm getting that too with the twin energy, like duality, one, two, flip side, like should I stay, should I go? You're really making a decision here. Let's see. And especially with it being Gemini season, I feel like this is really the season to be making strong decisions about your life, your love life, who's in it, who you want to let go. Let's get more for the last quarter moon for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini's love life, the last quarter moon? Clear energy for Gemini. Challenge winner, six of roses in reverse. Leo energy, it's like the six of wands. I feel like someone lost you or lost out on you. Meeting the parents. Okay, the nine of roses, so that's Sagittarius energy. One more for Gemini. That's usually like a guarded energy with meeting the parents. And usually you are on guard when you're meeting someone's parents, right? And then we have the producer plant. So in this deck, the final rose tarot, this is like a love game show contestant type of deck. So this card is an extra card and it's supposed to be the producer plant. So it's like a situation or a circumstance or a person that the producers kind of put into a scenario just to see how it's going to shake up the relationship. If someone's going to be loyal or not, it's kind of like a test card. So I feel like someone kind of lost the test, right? And I don't know if this had something to do with literally meeting someone's parents. Um, I'm hearing pay attention to the cards, like what's on the cards. Challenge winner in reverse. I feel like someone lost out. When it came to meeting someone's parents, I don't know, maybe you were expecting to meet someone's parents or they were expecting to meet yours and they didn't. Or your parents didn't like them or vice versa. It seems like something went south when it came to meeting the parents or this could just be symbolizing being on guard, right? And then we have the producer plant in reverse. I feel like someone failed a test. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is your person. Someone failed a test here, Gemini. Yeah, page of mirrors in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the gossip. I feel like someone was sneaking around. There's like a sneaky energy here. Four of rings in reverse, possessive energy. This is trying to get out of a lackluster possessive energy. Trying to get out of a impoverished energy, low vibration. This just feels like kind of a loss. Like it's spelling out a loss due to someone being a schemer or plotting or planning or kind of doing something they're not really supposed to. All right, give me more for Gemini. What does Gemini need to see about this person that missed out on Gemini due to being a little bit of a schemer, or a skeezer, whatever this energy is? Yeah, I knew it. This is a karmic, karmic relationship, a catalyst to prepare you for real and high vibrational love. You're feeling pulled to this person. Therefore, it appears to be the real thing, but it's not. Integrate the lessons that need to be learned. So this is someone that's meant to level you up. 
yeah, influencing factors. I feel like in terms of career, work, even family, but they're really not the one. This is just a the one. <laughs> to quote Michael Scott, okay. Give me more for Gemini about this karmic relationship that's in their vibration, what they need to know about it. We have passing notes. So there's definitely something about the gossip passing notes. Knight of Rings in reverse. You may have rejected this person after they tried to come back in or something. Give me another one for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? You're definitely comfortable with this person or have been comfortable. Pumpkin spice symbolizes like cozy, comfortness, familiarity. So this is someone that you've had a something something with. I don't know if it's a full blown relationship um, or just a connection, but this is definitely an energy where you are familiar with this person. Yeah, we have the notes. I'm hearing follow the music, follow the notes. Okay, there's something um, in rhythm here. I almost feel like this person wants to reach out to you, um, but with the notes here, it kind of makes me think of follow the yellow brick road energy. They're going with the flow, and I almost wonder if the flow is telling them to get away from you because I feel like you've told them that before. Give me more for Gemini. The frame. Yeah, this person's thinking of memories with you. The frame is all about, you know... When you think of a movie frame like that, it's kind of like very past action based energy. You're kind of going through each action, each motion that was already done before. So I feel like this person's really, I don't know why that one's sticking out to me. This one, equity. Why did I hear they want to share you? I feel like they want to have their cake and eat it too. Like maybe you guys had your problems, but at the same time, they still want to be around you. They still can't get over you, Gemini. All right, give me more clear energy for Gemini. What is the most likely outcome? What's going on? Tell me about this person. We have alchemy choices. Of course we do. Should I stay twin flame? This is all about choices. Give me more for Gemini. Initiation. Katamara, Marwa, I'm, I'm butchering that, whatever that is. <laughs> this person is making a decision about the rest of their life is what I feel like. And I feel like you are too, but I feel like you already made a decision that you're kind of good on them. But at the same time, they're not done with you. Creation partnered sex magic. So maybe the sex is off the charts, Gemini. Maybe like, you know, that part goes crazy, but the rest of the relationship is kind of a shit show. This person's a little bit of a schemer. Nature, they definitely are shooting their shot at you. And I feel like it, they want to come back in the picture and do that. But at the same time, I feel like leveling up would kind of be leaving this person behind. Truth, Aura. Yeah, the truth, I feel like they're very much either in love with you or kind of just like all over your energy let's get a treasure from the treasure chest for gemini what does gemini need to see from the charms oh my gosh did i not just say in love with you and the heart comes out on initiation you make their heart thump gemini you give them that oomph i mean the heart is you know that that's it's the heart is everything you know everything works because of the heart so this is someone that's really really connected to you but i feel like this is just a karmic to be honest okay give me something for gemini almost got the wrong dice what does gemini need to see through the astrodice most likely outcome the last quarter moon we have the sun in Aries. So this person could be, oh, wait, wait, is that? You know what? I took two of the wrong dice. That's funny. This is Mars energy, but Mars is ruled by Aries. I'm just going to say, Gemini, this person could be an Aries sun. But yeah, I feel like mm, it's interesting that I took that as that because it looked like the Aries energy. Okay, Taurus. Yeah, sun in Taurus could be a Taurus too. In the sixth house, sixth house is ruled by Virgo. This is all about helping, healing energy. The sun in Taurus, Taurus is all about prosperity and wellness. Someone's really taking care of themselves. I feel like that's you. 
Yeah, and becoming a healer. And I feel like this person wants in on that energy. I feel like you're just focused on your energy. And healing probably means getting a away from this person, but I don't know if that's what you wanted to hear, but I feel like this is just a karmic. So I hope this resonated, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. If it did, head on over to themoonempress.com for a personal reading. Otherwise, I will catch you later in another moon phase reading.